Hey folks, this is Robert here with Northstar Day Trading. Wanted to share a strategy that I have for you. Um, it is called right here a ratcheting stop. Um, this works a little different than a trailing stop, as the trailing stop is going to move each time your uh, market moves in your direction, whereas a ratcheting stop, there's a bit of a pause there. Now I'm going to go, going to do is grab this tool from Windows. Uh, just a snipping tool so I can draw on the chart. Now, typically, let's say we entered long here and we have our stop loss here. A trailing stop, as this market moves up, each tick, 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 the stop is going to move this way. So it's going to follow it as it goes up each tick. Now, what the ratcheting stop does, what I have it programmed to do, is let's say we enter long here and we have our stop here. We're saying that I'm going to wait until the market moves up, let's just say 10 points, before I move my stop up 10 points. So this is going to give the market some wiggle room like this. And then once it goes up and it makes its new 10 point mark, this will now move up to the next 10 point level or whatever we specify, okay? I'm gonna go through those settings now, but that's the difference between a ratcheting stop. That will kind of save you in these areas. So if you're doing a trailing stop and let's say it's five points away and this is going up, once it reaches here, the stop is gonna be at this level and you may get stopped out. Whereas a ratcheting stop, if it moves up, it gives it some room to pull back before it shoots up here and then the stop moves up to the next level. So let's put this and move this off the screen here. Let's, let me show you what this looks like uh, as it's going. Now I'm gonna enter the settings of the strategy and go through those. Uh, we have the ability to trade more than one contract and this is gonna be one entry at a time. So we're gonna choose long, we're going to choose short and we're going to let the strategy uh, manage the stop itself. So once we enter a position here, and let's say we go in a long position, it's going to put the initial stop right away at uh, 40 ticks away. Okay, that's the very initial stop. Now, once the market moves up in our favor, I say up because we're in a long position, uh, we're going to enable the ratchet after it moves uh, 20 ticks. Okay, now once it moves 20 ticks, I, we're going to move the stop 20 ticks and this could be anything this could this could be 10 ticks for example so i'm going to keep it at 20 just for this example purposes now that now that i've moved my stop the first time to my 20 ticks away every time the market moves in my favor eight ticks i'm going to keep following it by 20 ticks okay so my initial stop is going to be uh, if we did points my initial stop is going to be 10 points away and then once the market moves in my favor five points it's going to move the stop five points away from my entry. Now, every two points, it's going to follow that five points. It's not going to move it to every five points. Just every time it moves two points, it's going to chase it. It's going to chase the market up again. And you'll see how this how this works. Uh, one thing I just realized I wanted to talk about was this here. This is the profit target per session, max loss per session. Uh, this is this is. Um, uh, not per entry, but per entire session. So you can run this strategy, and if you put, I don't know, five contracts on this, you end up hitting $1,000 in a single trade. It's just going to stop the strategy. It's going to going to close the position and stop the strategy. And the same with the max loss. So you can run it four, five, six times, ten times, whatever. Uh, and once you reach your target, and this can be completely disableable. So it can be on or it can be off. I'll leave it on. We're only using one contract. I don't think we're going to hit that at this point in time that we're trading here. So let me turn the strategy on. <clears throat> And I've just backed this up. I picked this date, basically cherry picked this area so I could show you how it works. I know it's going to work well, and I know it's going to work well with those settings. Uh, again, this is a demonstration. So here, if I start, if I start the market now, the market is moving. I have tick data. I can enter long or I can enter short at this point. Now, when I click on enter long, you will see that it and say enters a long position and it put my stop here. A little bit of slippage in there. Um, but here is my my stop 74. I had it, if you recall, they had it set for 10 points away or 40 ticks. That's my initial stop. Now, once this moves up five points or, or 20 ticks, this is going to follow it by 20 ticks. And that's the ratchet, okay? So let's run this a little bit further. Uh, as a fail safe, if I, if I click enter long again, it's not going to allow me. If I enter short, it's not going to allow me. This is the single trade. If I want to get out of the trade, I can click this close all button and it will remove this trade and this trade here. So let me hit close all. You can see that it closed everything. So I'll enter long again. 
and I'm going to run this forward. I'll pause it once it gets into a, uh, a good spot here. So we're going to watch this stop. And once this moves up by five points, this should jump up and be five points behind it. So we'll get that run for a moment. It won't take long. <clears throat> and this is what makes it different on ratcheting, where it's not going to be trailing. See, right now, if this is a trailing stop, uh, this stop loss would be following the market trailing up. So let this run a little bit more. There we go. And as you can see, this jumped from here and it moved up. It's going to stay five points behind it. A little bit, again, a little bit of slippage here. This is in replay mode, so you never know what to expect. I'm going to go a little further. Now, as at this point, that was our initial. Our initial stop was here. The initial move was to move it five points back. But now, as the market goes up, we have it set for eight ticks or two points. So every time the market goes up two points, this is going to readjust now up two points. So we're at 85 here. Now let's see. It should move up to 87. Uh, I should move up, um, yeah, up to, to 87. There we go. Okay, so this moved up another two points. So it's going to chase it by two points. It's going to keep following it. But it's going to give it two points of room. So the market can bounce around. There it moved up again, two points. But see how the market pulled back? And it's not chasing, it's not going tick by tick. So if it only goes up, there we go. Every time it goes up two points, it's going to follow it. Okay, follow it right along, and then we'll just let it stop out here, just like that. Okay, so this keeps track of your PL, the unrealized PL, the realized PL, and this is what the uh, the strategy is going to monitor where if you end up reaching 110 uh, dollars um, in this case, if I was trading, you know, uh, five contracts or ten contracts, that would be uh, significantly higher, and we would end up hitting our target, uh, our target um, profit per session, and then we'll, it monitors the target loss per session. I'm just thinking I put those on there. So if if you enter a position here, uh, let's say I enter a long position, and and it comes down, I don't, it jumps this stop for some reason. It's going to monitor. Uh, your maximum loss. It's just a fail save. So again, anytime um, I'm here, I can close the trade. I can choose a short position. Open, open a short position, and it's going to take. It's going to put that stop above the market. And if we hit play, we can see the adjustment already. It already moved down by by the uh, uh, number of points. Now this may get stopped out. I think it drops down at some point. <clears throat> but we can see the stop working as well. Hopefully it drops down. I think it does. If it doesn't, I'll enter another short position. Just we can see it drop down. We can see it tracking and following. <clears throat> Again, I think that it drops down here. So if it stops out, we'll re-enter. Okay, so now I'll enter a short position again. Move down. <clears throat> Let's see if uh, it just got stopped out again. Let's enter it one more time. Let me speed this up. There we go. Now it moved. Speed this up a little more. I know one of these, it goes the other direction. It might be now. I want to show this uh, this strategy. There we go. There it is. It's shifting down now. Okay, so we can see it going in in both directions, and it just got stopped, but it got it did a buy to cover, so we're all set. So anyway, that is the strategy itself. Um, these all work. The enter long, enter short, uh, multiple contracts. If we want to jump into, let's put this on five contracts, just to show. I'll back this up where we know it's going to win at in a long position, turn our strategy back on again, and we'll hit play, I'll speed it up a little bit, hit long. We can see we have five contracts, and we have five at the stop, and then once this shifts up, we will see our, our five contracts following it. <clears throat> there we go, shifting up a little more. And we can see the shift, there's our five contracts. Okay, shifting, shifting, exactly. So here we go. 
this close why because we hit our max profit per session and we had it up at a thousand dollars but by the once it hit it by the time it closed it pulled back a little bit um, and it was just off of a thousand because in our settings review one more time we do have our max profit of 1000 our max stop uh, and this is turned you can turn it on or off to set your own okay it, it actually is a really cool tool if you're a trend trader you throw this on some hike and Ashi hike and Ashi charts and defy uh, define your trend and let it run um, hopefully it will work out for you if you have any questions feel free to uh, message me contact me email contact me through any of the social media channels listed on the website and best of luck in your trading.